Before you purchase a radar system, determine the opening dimensions by measuring the opening at multiple places both horizontally and vertically. Check the jams, header, and floor for level and plumb. When approving our documents, be sure to list finished opening dimensions, not rough opening dimensions. You will need these drawings for installation and should use them along with our installation manual to understand the specifics of your system. Assemble the wheeled carriers and track stops. The bolts in the wheeled carrier should all be set to even lengths. After you've pre-assembled your sliding hardware components, mark for the placement of your track. Depending on the type of construction, you may need to locate joists or blocking to ensure secure mounting of the track. Pre-drilling for screws will make installing track easier. After mounting all but the last segment of each row of tracks, wipe out track to remove dust and debris. This is very important for smooth and quiet operation of doors. Before completing rows of track, insert wheeled carriers and track stops in the proper orientation so that wheels will engage stops. For the last segments of track, you will likely need to cut track to length to complete each row. You can use a chop saw with a fine tooth blade to cut track as you would for most carpentry work. Mount the final segments of track to complete each row, making sure to fit factory edge to factory edge for a tight fit and smooth rolling. After securing track, wipe out debris again. If you'd like to eliminate the gap between rows of track, you can cut plywood or MDF strips to place between rows of track and paint them to match ceiling for a more seamless look. Alternately, track can be mounted so that bottom of track is flush with ceiling.
Hang doors by inserting bolt from wheeled carrier in mounting bracket or low profile receiver, making sure that they seat properly. Tighten lock nuts after you've checked doors are level. Repeat this operation for each door in your system. If height needs adjustment, bolts are threaded up or down at each side to change height. To ensure that the radar guiding system on the bottom of the panels works without binding, it's easiest to set the door so that trailing door is lowest and the leading door is highest. The difference in height between first and last should be minimal, but this will help in smoother operation. Connecting the heavy-duty radar guiding system requires mounting the provided J-shaped hooks in the pre-drilled locations. The other components will already be mounted to the doors. Once the hooks are attached, you can move the adjacent door so that hook slides into bottom channel of adjacent door. Then slide the bottom mounted guiding plate inward so that it blocks hook from sliding back out of bottom channel. Then use an Allen key to tighten set screw on edge of sliding bottom plate. Repeat this for every door connection. Set track stops in final location. Refer to your system drawings for placement. Locate placement of dustproof strikes by fully extending doors and marking flush bolts location and floor. Drill and insert dustproof strike. Check door for proper operation. Door should slide easily without rubbing or binding. Adjust height as necessary if you encounter issues. <laughs> 